Hello, everyone. Welcome to Miss Green's lesson. How are you today? I'm good. Thanks for asking. Let's start today's lesson with Write on Six, Unit Two, Lesson Two A, Reading, Page Thirty Eight. Before we start, make sure you have with you Write on Six students' book, Write on Six workbook, your notebook. Pen and pencil with you. Are you ready? Let's start. In the previous lesson, we have learned new vocabulary about daily routine and free time activities, such as get up, have breakfast, go to school, and many other words. We also practice talking about our daily routine using phrases like first. Then, next, or after that. Now let's move on to our lesson today. In this lesson, we are going to read a text named "School Days in the UK." But before we start, have a look at the picture, everyone. What can you see in the picture? Hmm. Very good. In the picture, there are two boys wearing the same clothes. That must be the uniforms. And what can you see in the background? Excellent. In the background is the school. Now take some time to think about what activities a student can do on their school day. Can you share with us the ideas? Very good. They can do many activities such as having breakfast, going to school, studying, talking with friends, or playing sports. There are many activities a student can do on their typical school day, and that is also. Our reading topic today. Let's move on to the exercise, shall we? The first exercise: Michael and Ben are friends. What is a typical school day of theirs? Now we are going to listen to the audio and read to find out the activities that these two boys. Michael and Ben usually do on the typical school day. School days in the UK. Michael gets up at seven thirty a.m. and has his breakfast. His best friend Ben. Lives next door, so they walk to school together. They are in the same class at Greenwood Primary School. There are thirty students in their class. All students wear a school uniform. The students have registration at eight forty-five a.m. and lessons start at nine a.m. There is a short break at ten thirty a.m. and a lunch break at twelve thirty p.m. Michael brings a packed lunch from home. But Ben buys a hot school dinner from the canteen. In the afternoon, there are lessons again from 1:15 p.m. to 3:40 p.m. When school finishes, Michael and Ben have football practice because they play for the school team. At 4:30 p.m., Michael and Ben walk back home. Michael takes a shower and does his homework. He has dinner at 7 p.m. with his family. Then he chats online. He goes to bed at 9:30 p.m. You have listened and read the text. Now, can you tell me what Michael and Ben usually do on the typical school day? Very good. What else? Well done. Now let's listen again to the full answer. 
They get up, have breakfast, and then go to school. Then they have football practice. After that, they go home. Here's the answer, everyone. We can find all the activities in the text. The activities are underlined. So if you need some time to read again, you can pause the video here. You have done a great job on exercise one. Now let's move to the next one. In exercise two, you're going to read the text and decide if the sentences are right, wrong, or doesn't say. But before we start, have a look at the sentences, then try to find and underline all the keywords. The keywords can help you focus on the information better while you're reading. Now, spend 30 seconds finding all the keywords by yourself. Let's share our ideas, shall we? The first sentence, Michael and Ben walk to school together. Our keyword here can be walk to school, very good. The second sentence, there are three breaks in a school day. What can the keyword be in this sentence? Very good. The keyword here can be three breaks. The third sentence, Ben likes the food from the canteen. So what do you think is the keyword here? The keyword here can be food from the canteen. Move on to the next one. Michael and Ben aren't good at football. What can we use as the keyword? We can use football as the keyword for this sentence. And finally, the last one, Michael has a big family. What can we use as the keyword for this sentence? That's right, big family can be used as the keyword here. We have found all the keywords. If your keywords are different, don't worry, that's not a problem. Now, spend five minutes finishing exercise two. You can pause the video here, go back and forth to do the exercise. Five minutes, start. Time's up, everyone. Let's check our answers, shall we? Now, can you tell me what is the answer for the first sentence? Hmm. Is it right? Very good. How about the second sentence? Oh, is it wrong? Well done, everyone. The third one. What is the answer for the third sentence? Is it doesn't say? Good job, everyone. The fourth sentence. What do you think the answer is? Is it wrong? Excellent. And finally, the last one. Oh, is it wrong? Ah, uh, I'm sorry, but it's incorrect. The answer for the last sentence should be doesn't say. Good job, everyone. You have finished exercise two. After reading, you may find in the text new vocabulary. Let's have a look at them, shall we? Now, 
Listen and repeat. Uniform. Registration. Packed lunch. Canteen. Team. Chat online. Okay, I will give you some time to look up these words. You can search for the meanings on the internet or in the dictionary. Have you finished? Very good. Let's share with everyone the Vietnamese meanings of these words. The first one, what does uniform mean in Vietnamese? That's right, it means đồng phục. What about registration? Very good. Registration means điểm danh trong tiếng Việt. The third one, what does pet lunch mean in Vietnamese? Very good. It means bữa trưa đóng hộp. How about canteen? What does canteen mean in Vietnamese? Đúng vậy, nó có nghĩa là căng tin. What about the word team? Very good. Chữ team trong tiếng Việt có nghĩa là đội hoặc nhóm. The final one, chat online. I think you usually do this. So do you know the meaning? Very good. Chat online means... Nhắn tin trên mạng. Good job everyone. You have found the meanings for these words. Now, let's do the last one. In this exercise, we are going to practice speaking. Read the text again and say what Michael's daily routine is. Use first, then, next, and after that to tell the class. To help you understand the task better, let's look at the example. Michael gets up at 7.30 a.m. First, he has his breakfast. Then, he walks to school. You can see that they list all of Michael's activities from what he does in the morning to what he does next. While you're reading the text again, you should underline all Michael's activities so that you won't miss anything. You can also tell what time Michael does that activity and don't forget to use phrases such as first, then, next, or after that. Now, you may pause the video here, review the text, and spend three minutes practicing your speech. Thumbs up everyone. Are you ready to share with the class now? Okay, try your best. That's an excellent answer. Thank you very much. Now, why don't we listen again to the full answer? Don't worry if your answer doesn't match this. Michael gets up at 7.30 a.m. First, he has his breakfast and then he walks to school. He has registration at 8.45 a.m. and then lessons. He has a break at 10.30 a.m. and then eats lunch at 12.30 p.m. At 1.15 p.m., he has more lessons. After that, he goes to football practice. Then, at 4.30 p.m., he walks home. After that, he has a shower and then does his homework. At 7pm, he has dinner with his family. Then, he chats online until 9.30pm. After that, he goes to bed. We have finished the last exercise for today's lesson. Good job, everyone! Alright, we have completed Unit 2, Lesson 2A, 
reading, page 38. For homework and more practice, remember to review all the language points we have learned in this lesson. Do workbook, page 22. And finally, assess the EduHome at eduhome.com.vn for more practice resources. So that's the end of our lesson today. Thank you, everyone, and goodbye. Thank <laughs> you.